hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be part one of my fragrance net haul so i did haul a bunch of perfumes for fragrance net i would say a collective haul i hauled them a few a few times when I saw some sales but I wanted to split this video up into two because a lot of the perfumes that I hauled are perfumes that you guys have suggested to me so I am going to be doing a video of perfumes that my viewers slash subscribers have suggested to me and I didn't want to show you those just yet so that's why I split this video up into two because there are five fragrances that I hauled that are perfumes that have already either been on my list for some time i just happened to buy it because it was a crazy good deal or it was kind of a restock and i will go over that so the first one i'm going to mention is one that i hauled for my mom slash me and that is la vie belle this is no surprise to none of you you guys know about this perfume because i've mentioned it in a bunch of my videos but my mom really loved the scent when she came over and smelled it so i'm like mom if you pick up a small bottle, I will switch with you and give you my large bottle. So she could not pass up that deal. And then on top of that, Fragrance Net was having a sale. So she got the 100 mil and I went ahead and took her 50 mil. I'm not gonna go into details on this one just because I've talked about this so much on my channel. So we're just gonna go over it really quick. And that is that this is just a very sweet vanilla praline patchouli beautiful fall winter scent in my opinion so i do enjoy this perfume mainly for cooler to cold months as well as date night and i just know that with how large my collection is it's not a perfume that i'm going to go through and my mom really enjoyed it so i know she's going to go through that larger bottle quicker than i will so i did switch with her so in the past i've been hauling more gourmand more sweeter scents because I do like to wear certain scents during certain times of the year. I will at times wear them anyways, but for the most part, I do like sweet, yummy scents during like the fall and the holidays. And then these next scents that I picked up are more of my type of scents for not only like spring and summer, but just everyday year round scents. So these next scents I'm gonna talk about specifically, I think are gonna be absolutely gorgeous for spring. I went ahead and picked up some of these scents specifically because springtime is coming. First up is a perfume that I've been wanting to add to my collection for some time. And that is Valentino Donna. And I heard that this scent is being discontinued and I am kicking myself for not getting the bigger bottle. But since I only smelled it one time at Macy's and it didn't wow me, and I think it's because I sprayed Valentino Donna Born in Rome, and I felt like that one kind of overpowered this one. <sighs> but this scent, you guys, is gorgeous. So I have been enjoying fruity florals a lot lately like my C and my Mon Petit. And I would say that this falls in that line, not that they smell the same, but it's that fruity floral with like that booziness. <laughs> I know I've said that already a couple times. You guys probably think I'm a lush. <sighs> but this has this leather note that either you like or you don't. And it's not anything that's offensive, but some people just don't, don't like that leather note. I love it. This reminds me of those fruity florals that I love, but it's got the leather note, which makes it very unique. So the main accords on this are powdery, rose, vanilla, floral, and leather. The packaging, the beautiful juice inside, the gold details, I mean, so beautiful. I don't know why I just didn't pick up the large bottle. I usually don't like to shop large bottles anymore. Unless it's a perfume that I wear like year round or like it's unique. But because this is being discontinued, I will probably buy a backup of this. And this one's just, it's gorgeous. I'm going to burn through that one. I can already tell. This next scent has been suggested to me by one of my viewers on numerous occasions. But it's actually a scent that I've been wanting to add into my collection. Demi Rawlings has featured it in her video as well as Rosita Applebaum, I believe it is. And that is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And this is just a gorgeous, fresh green floral scent 
which I think is going to be super pretty for springtime. So this perfume is described as green, aromatic, rose, floral and woody this one i'm going to have to follow up because i've only sprayed it a few times like in the air it isn't anything that i've tested out so i'll have to see what it dries down to but from the bottle i get a very green fresh citrus floral scent and i'm not sure if there's citrus in here but it is a very fresh green scent to me so i will follow this up at a later time in more detail so this next one is a was a blind buy but it was only $13 and change and that is Prada Candy Floral so I did recently haul like a little set from Sephora that came with Prada Candy the original as well as Prada Candy Kiss and I really enjoyed those scents so when I saw this for like $13 and change I wanted to pick it up and this is the uh, 0.68 fluid ounce now this is the edt i believe i know for sure la via belle and donna are all, all the parfum i'm not sure about flora botanica doesn't say but this is the edt these last two i'm going to mention are all the toilet i mean look at how cute i just love these little bottles because you get to try out the perfume without committing to so much oh this is very citrusy fresh sweet floral scent so the main accords on this are floral fresh honey sweet citrus and caramel and i do get pretty much all those accords in here except for the caramel i'm sure i'll pick that up in the dry down but i do get honey but it's not like sickeningly sweet but i do get honey which is crazy because i don't think i own any perfume with honey and i i do get this slight like honey honey sweet in this as well as like floral and fresh and like citrus so this is i think going to be another one that's going to be great for springtime but i do want to do like a review on my product candy perfumes now that i own three so i will go into this one and the other ones in more detail at a later time now this next one I'm really excited about because as you guys know I've been wanting to kind of get into the Chance line by Chanel and when I saw this perfume was on sale at FragranceNet I was like I had to get it and that is Eau Tendre. Now this is the EDT version and this one normally retails for $62 but it was 45% off and I got it for like $38 and change. I thought was really good and this is the 1.2 because you guys know that again I've just been really enjoying these smaller bottles oh this is pretty so this is like a fruity floral but like a light no booziness a much lighter airy scent this is one of my cousin's favorite scents because perfumes give her headaches and she says that this perfume lets her wear perfume without feeling like she has perfume on and she says that she gets compliments on this now I have heard that the eau de toilette doesn't last that long but I wonder if it's one of those perfumes that become like a skin scent and then maybe you can't smell it anymore but other people can smell it on you but I have heard a lot of people say that they like this perfume for that reason it's not heavy it's not offensive it's very pretty fruity floral feminine airy light Scent. So the main accords on this one are floral, fruity, citrus, sweet, fresh, spicy, and white floral. And I would say because of how light it is, from the bottle I don't get any of that. But when you spray it, I do get like fruity floral. I don't get fresh spicy yet. But I do get like the white floral scents. Again, this is a very, very light scent so i will i will be following this one up because i do want to do like a chanel chance line now that i have three in my collection and i am planning on picking up a couple more i do want to follow this video up in more detail at a later time so again that's chance by chanel otandra so i'm really excited about this haul and these beautiful springtime scents these last four especially are very springtime in my opinion but let me know in the comments below do you guys own any of these perfumes i'm pretty sure i'm gonna hear a lot on flora botanica valentino 
and Chance Otandra. I'm pretty sure this one is going to be divided and then this one I, I think is a crowd pleaser. It's a favorite. This one might be a little divided only because of it being the EDT version. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on these perfumes and that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload and until next time guys. Bye.